this is Martin Pitella for Life Enthusiast Podcast. And with me today, I have Jim Onek, the CEO of Epoch Lasers. Hello, Jim. Hello, Martin. Thanks for having me on your show today. Great. So I want to preframe this uh, talk today with saying that we'll be talking in technical details about a product that's uh, a technology that helps people remove effects of inflammation. And it's primarily going to be focused for people who are in the business of caring for others. Uh, or, or maybe enthusiasts in helping to care for themselves. The product itself is a professional grade piece of equipment and off we go, Epoch Lasers. Jim, uh, you were recently in Ecuador, right? Uh, yes, Martin, that is correct. I uh, just got back, in fact, at the end of last week. And uh, while I was there, I had the opportunity to participate in the grand opening of uh, Clinica Linda, which is a clinic that has been set up for free to help the indigenous people in Ecuador uh, up in the Andes Mountains. And uh, they respond really rapidly to the laser treatment. But interesting, while I was there and treating the indigenous people, there were other people that were there at the facility who really latched on to the ability to be able to help reduce people's pain and inflammation through a device like the laser and saw themselves becoming certified therapist. And so a number of people you know, started asking, how can I become a therapist? Uh, how can I get certified? How can I get a device? Can I, can I use this at home? And can I use it locally and travel around and help family and friends and, and even people at, at a firehouse, a local firehouse uh, feel better? Right. <laughs> There's quite an extended uh, expatriate community in Ecuador, right? Yes, there sure is. Um, or were these uh, people also just visiting? Well, there were the, the, the indigenous people that there are locally, and there were other people that were there visiting uh, what's called uh, Tosa Blue Mountain. And uh, it's a, a spiritual resort uh, location. And they were there to learn. Uh, and we were all there for the equinox uh, that took place and oh, to wow. observe the uh, wow. uh, equinox. Of course. Well, so let's dive into it. So this, what do you call this device specifically? Is it uh, laser 980 or? It's called the Epic 980 and it is a, a class four laser. So it's a professional grade product as you mentioned. So there are different classifications of laser. Laser uh, class one being like a laser pointer and a class four being anything above 500 milliwatts. So this particular laser is 20 watts total power. Now that may sound scary, uh, but that lets you have a very broad treatment beam, which means you can treat a larger surface area, which equates to much faster treatment. So the typical treatment time with this laser is 10 minutes. Right, because we have also been promoting your uh, personal style device, the Infrahelios, that puts out quite a bit less power, right? Right, the Infrahelios, uh, I mean, is, is much lower in power, still uses the same light science, the 980 nan nanometer wavelength. It's spread over a larger surface area. So it just means that it takes a longer time to treat. So we're a typical treatment with the professional gray lasers, 10 minutes, the Infrahelios is typically 30 minutes. So a, a quite a bit difference in time and efficiency if you're a clinician and you have a, your own uh, clinic or you're doing treatments of, of multiple people a day. Okay, so let's just first uh, tell people about the applications. Like, when would this be appropriate? For what situations? Sure, great. This is a good question. This uh, device can be used for uh, chronic or acute pain conditions. So if somebody has arthritis or arthritis in their knees or their hands uh, or even their back, it can certainly be used to help relieve the inflammation and pain um, of that. Um, if they sustain a sprained ankle or a sports injury, uh, it can be used to treat that. So an acute type of injury. Uh, but most common treatments that I get to, to tell you are, are people our age. <laughs> and uh, they get the old sciatica, the uh, L4, L5, uh, slight disc herniation, and they feel pain in their hips. And then their body starts to compensate. They feel pain in their knees, sometimes their ankles. And it all stems from that uh, L4, L5 uh, spine area. And so that's the most common treatment as a therapist that I encounter is treating this back, chronic back pain, especially with men 
you know, that are around the 50 year age mark. And so uh, the other I get is uh, shoulders. Uh, people get shoulders, they, they work out too much. And of course, the other in, in a lot of uh, women I get is knees. So I'm always treating a lot of knees. Mm -hmm. And the uh, laser is effective for all of those types of, of pains and discomforts. And I always like to say that the body gets referred pain. And so I had a really interesting case I should mention to you where uh, the person that came in uh, from the village, uh, Clinic Linda, had a, a pain in the middle of his back. And in the process of treating the area around the pain, I discovered that the lower back right hand quadrant of his back, just above his hip, was really super tight. And I treated that and it released his back and the pain went away that was further up. And that's what we call a referred pain. And so you get to, as a therapist, this isn't an impersonal type of treatment. As a therapist, you get to interact with the, the patient, uh, talk with them, assess their, their pain level, understand maybe some of the root causes of their pain, not always maybe physical. Some of them are, are you know mental blocks, but you get to treat the whole patient and you get to have a conversation with them and you really get to help heal the whole person during the treatment session. Hmm. So sounds like this Epoch 980 would be well placed in a chiropractors or an acupuncturists or physiotherapists or massage therapists or uh, Reiki it, maybe offices. Yes, exactly. Those are the exact types of, of people uh, that use the device. A lot of chiropractors like it. It gives them an option to uh, not just do an adjustment on a person, but actually to do the laser on top of the adjustment and make faster progress with the patient and maybe uh, longer times in between treatments, but to, to actually really help. And it's not a, uh, an e-stim device, as an example, it gives temporary pain relief. The laser is much longer lasting. Uh, another great example was while we were down in Ecuador, uh, a woman came in who was honored that the plane really had a sore back, had difficulty even walking. And uh, we gave her a nice, good 15, 15 minute treatment in this case, because the pain was so severe. The next day, she walked up the mountain to attend an, an Indian ceremony. And uh, that was she, a serious hike, yes? That was a serious hike. And she said she had some discomfort, but that she never would have even thought about walking up the hill if she hadn't had the treatment and had the pain relieved. So I don't want to leave the impression that one treatment is magic and you're all cured because it takes sometimes a series of treatments, but it just shows you that you can have a very rapid positive effect mm -hmm. on the level of pain. Yeah, you're mentioning the L4, L5. That's usually the uh, sedentary lifestyle that triggers that, right? Exactly. The people sit around and, and watch TV and because their back sore, they don't go for a walk. And then what happens is they gain weight. And then that pressure from the added weight gain exasperates the condition. And then they kind of get in this downward spiral, less motion, more sitting. And uh, what the laser does is reverse that. Um, you get the patient treated, they get their back feeling better. And suddenly they say, I feel like I'm going to go for a walk this morning. My pain isn't as great. They stop taking the harsh medication and they start to go in this upward spiral saying, oh, maybe I'll get outside. Maybe I'll do a little gardening. And all of a sudden, no, oh, I'm going to go walk the dog. Then they feel better and they say, well, you know what? I think I'm, maybe I should eat a little better. And just they, they start paying more attention to their health because you've, you've gotten rid of that, to that pain. You know, a sacrilegious thought occurred to me is that one of these units should be in every office. So especially where people are having to sit for long hours, like programmers or coders or whatever, people who sit in front of computers, because yeah, you could treat them and let them work. So if every employer should be actually motivated to, uh, to treat their people so that they last longer, right? Right. I mean, that's why we say uh, every home and office, uh, you know, should have a laser. Uh, and, and we say that, and, and really there's a serious connotation behind it, um, you know, healthcare of the future, you, you spend $35,000 on a car and, and this laser is, is you know, far less than, than that, but you could treat your family, your whole family, if they have these chronic pain conditions. I know we have a, an 18 year old nephew that lives with us and is into sports and, uh, you know, he gets bumps and bruises from those types of, uh, uh sports injuries. And, uh, you know, we, of course, get our own 
uh, things from exercising that, that we need to treat. So mm -hmm. it, it gets used within, within the family um, as well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's quite often it's the neighbors and, and people close by that know about it and say, hey, can I get a treatment? And uh, once you gain the patient, you may give them a course of six to 10 treatments and they, they get better for sometimes six months or a year. Uh, but I have one patient now I've been treating for the past four or five years and he'll say, Jim, I need a tune-up. And yeah. uh, so I, I go in and give him a tune-up, uh, one or two treatments, and then he's good for another year. So, <laughs> And so it's just a couple of treatments and he's, he's fine for a year. Yeah, because he's, he's had the main course of treatment. So most of the uh, issues causing the pain have been taken care of. Uh, and usually it comes because he overdoes something. He over has mm -hmm. done exercising or he's lifted too much weight or he's done something wrong. And it's kind of created the condition again, but then a couple laser treatments and he responds really fast to it and it, it solves his problem. Right. So while this unit is not a cheap toy, this comes fully configured at just under $20,000, right? Correct, yes. And do, you offer, a, yeah, do you offer any uh, financing or leasing type of uh, arrangements? We do. It depends on the person's individual situation, or if, they, if they're a business, of course, uh, that it's uh, it's easy to do a lease. Uh, the lease payment is such that just treating one patient a month can help, you know, take care of the uh, the lease cost. Um, if you're uh, a person and you don't have that capability to get a business lease, then there's always methodologies to do personal financing, um, you know, to acquire the device. Right. Well, for people who have been in chronic pain, this uh, this thing could be just just a tool that they need to liberate themselves to perhaps return back to work, whatnot. Yeah, it, it's funny. This morning I was thinking about this this talk, and I was you know just adding mentally, you you might be if you're in chronic pain, you might be taking a pill that's as much as four hundred dollars per pill. And you have a copay to that. <laughs> and then you have to drive back and forth to the, to the doctors, maybe to get your blood checked while you're on these medications. You have a chance to become addicted. So you have this expense and you think, okay, the laser may sound, the professional grade may sound expensive, but at the end of the day, it's a lot less money than the, some of the medications people are on and all the doctor's visits and the insurance and the co-pays and things that you have to go through. Right. And of course, if you get yourself on opioids, that's a whole new kettle of fish that's correct it's a whole new kettle of fish yeah all right so how did we get here to tell me about the research that went into this how, how did you develop this i mean this is not the only uh, uh light treatment in the market could, could you help us differentiate it from the other technologies that that are there Sure. My, my story starts 20 years ago, and I had some, uh, of course, exposure in my career being in the, the medical device industry to lasers, lasers used in ophthalmology. So I, I knew quite a bit about lasers. And then about 20 years ago, I was exposed to uh, this idea of laser therapy and cold laser therapy. So I have a background in, in uh, biomedical engineering. Uh, I was an uh, emergency medical technician in EMT. Uh, so I have some medical training. I worked in a chemistry lab, so I have some chemistry training. So things kind of fell together in line for me to look at this in a whole new light, so to speak. <laughs> and what I ended up uh, doing is starting to research why the lasers out there that there were articles for weren't really working well. Why didn't the studies prove positive? So I did a meta-analysis of hundreds and hundreds of, of these articles and I began to observe a pattern. And then I began to think of and conceive of a device built around this pattern uh, of what made us for a successful treatment, uh, which turned out to be something uh, you know, called the, the optical power density. And I optimized the device for the proper optical power density. I went to the University of Toledo and we did a study on uh, at a cellular level to show that the 980 nanometer laser actually stimulated the, uh, the cellular reactions that we were expecting that it would, and it did. Uh, we then did a, a study on some chronic uh, back pain patients at the uh, University of Toledo Medical School. Uh, we also did some on some uh, uh, healing of people that had uh, metal components put in their wrists. So we've done quite a bit of, of research over the years, but it started 
from the cellular level. And even before that, I was uh, using the laser on a can of spam. I think I told some people the story because the spam has a pretty good human model. <laughs> in terms of its absorption of, of laser. Uh, I've done uh, fresh cadaveric work to understand uh, the laser propagation through the tissue and then mathematically and computer model to that propagation. So all of that study gives me a very good control on the process. What's the optical power needed to get through the different layers of tissue so there's enough energy to stimulate the cells because I know what that power level needs to be. So it, it all falls together. I didn't just take a piece of equipment and say, oh, this feels warm. I think it's working. I actually st studied the reaction to see what it did at the cellular level first and then build the protocols and things around that data. Yeah, there's, there's quite a bit of talk about different wavelengths, right? People talk about the uh, oh, purple light and blue light and red light and green light. And of course, infrared. And is it the near or the far? And uh, uh, so many theories. People are standing in front of red light panels thinking that that's all that's needed, right? Right. But if I uh, could, I, I could actually go through a little bit. Uh, I have a few slides to show you the mechanism of action. If uh, I may share my best. screen. It would be great. Yeah. Okay. Let me do that. So there's a biological effects of therapeutic lasers, such as the, the EPIC 980. And the aim is to biostimulate injured and dysfunctional tissue that we've really talked about. And the clinical trials and studies indicate the beneficial effects of light therapy on tissues and cells at the 980 nanometer wavelength. So let's delve into a little bit more of how it works. So you mentioned all the different color lights. Well, our, our bodies and cells have chromophores uh, that are components of molecules which, which absorb light. So there's different chromophores within the mitochondria. So there happens to be a really strong chromophore in the mitochondrial membranes. When the light hits that chromophore, it incites the production of ATP. And we'll get to that in a minute. But first, for the audience there who may or may not remember, I'll, I'll uh, jog their memory of what a mitochondria is. So think of it as a tiny electrochemical battery that converts energy from the food you eat and the, the air that you breathe into this ATP. So it's, it's like a molecular motor. You energize it and the motor turns and it stimulates the production of ATP. So mitochondria, are the powerhouse of living cells. ATP or adenosine triphosphate is a chemical that's produced when these mitochondria uh, are activated by the light. And that ATP uh, drives biochemical activity inside your living cells. And it's a key building block of your DNA and RNA. All life on earth depends on this tiny little energetic molecule, all life. And so here, not only do you have the oxygen you breathe and the food you eat being converted, but now you have photonic energy converted to ATP because of this nice chromophore that's in the uh, membrane of the mitochondria. The ATP helps drive the healing mechanisms within our body. So really what we're doing is by activating the cellular mechanisms with this light, this 980 light, we are increasing the production of ATP and we're helping the body increase its own healing mechanisms. So a little different than taking a drug. This is actually activating at the site increase of ATP, which activates the body's own healing mechanisms. So that's the, the really the, the idea behind it. So the ATP synthesis is increased. Light energy at 980 penetrates through the skin and tissues, energizes the mitochondria, and increases the production of ATP, and it leads to a biological cascade of events and those can be increased growth factor response with the cells and tissue, um, increased protein synthesis, accelerated cell production and growth leading to fast repair of damaged tissue and increased metabolic activity. So all of that is the, uh, you know, the output. So really we're, we're activating the body's own mechanism uh, by throwing in a third uh, energizing compound known as the photon of, of light. So what's interesting is why do our cells react so profoundly to the 980 nanometer laser when it's not in our atmosphere? 
And this is what's the, the pretty cool question that I'm always be on a quest for. And that is uh, the 980 is not prevalent in our modern day atmosphere. But according to the, the friends at NASA, it used to be in biblical times, but it's no longer prevalent. So 980 nanometers does not get below uh, 30,000 feet, roughly the, you know, uh, how high an airplane flies. So it's not getting to earth, but our body has this mechanism built in that responds to it. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> that, now, that our, what do you suppose is blocking it now? Uh, the industrialized atmosphere. Particulate, say, particulate yeah. matters in the, uh, or is it chemicals in the air? Well, not just chemicals. I mean, it's uh, not just artificial, but it's also natural. Volcanoes, uh, changes in weather patterns, uh, disruptions of the Earth's atmosphere, uh, you know, the difference in the uh, uh, position to the sun, all these things affect the penetration of the light. But our modern day atmosphere with all the chemicals and things in it doesn't help. So it's a, a combination of natural and, and man-made factors. Right. That's so on this doing. graph, you actually placed the uh, airplane just into the range where this 980 would be, right? Right. Yeah. So I guess if you stood on a, a wing of an airplane to 30,000 feet, you could get the 980 effects, but <laughs> you might have some other side effects that wouldn't be good. So that's the, you know, that's the cool thing is our body has this mechanism built in response to the 980. But there's another thing to think about with the 980 wavelength, and that is 980 is not, not absorbed by the melanin, meaning it penetrates through any color skin. And the lower infrared wavelengths in the 800 to 850, well, they're highly absorbed in the melanin, meaning that uh, they may not be as effective on a dark skinned person as they would be as on a light skinned person. I guess you could say that the darker skinned people are warmed up faster using the uh, shorter wave, right? Correct, correct. Yeah. And so the 980 does not not uh, uh, get, get uh, absorbed by the melanin, means more of the, the healing light can penetrate. And so uh, again, the underlying mechanism of action is there's this mechanism that responds to the 980 and it uh, activates the mitochondria to produce more ATP, which equates to the body uh, as own mechanisms of healing uh, being activated. Yeah, this is quite profound actually, because of course the mitochondrial illness is now running quite rampant these days. And it's, uh, I mean, chronic fatigue is probably the most common presentation of that deficiency, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, but also uh, also slow healing yeah, or, or no healing. And it <laughs> makes me wonder how the current, uh, uh, what shall we call them? the long hauler after effect of the uh, viral infections, if that's related to this mechanism or not. Yeah, uh, very well, uh, very well could be. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> you know, it's really good to have this as an option because you may be able to mask the pain, but you're, you know, a, a drug, especially a narcotic drug, that doesn't activate the ATP production. It just hides the pain, it blocks the, the signals. Uh, from the nerves to the brain. No and, healing and, uh, takes place when you block the signal. Correct. Yeah. That's correct. So this is really, uh, it, it's really an amazing uh, technology. Like I said, it's been been 20 years. I can now officially say it's it, it's patented technology. So uh, it's just been a kind of a life's mission to, to bring this to fruition. And uh, I've had the opportunity to just watch many, many people over the years uh, be healed and the people that use this in the field uh, love it. Their patients love it. And uh, it uh, really can make a difference and turn people's lives around. And so for anyone that wants to be a healer, that wants that personal interaction to really do some good for a person, and, and they're interested in this, you know, we provide with the, the laser purchase, the, the full certification. You go through training that teaches you about the laser, about the the underlying biology teaches you, most importantly, the laser safety. Uh, this device you wear goggles with, it teaches you about that. Uh, and it, it can help you uh, learn how to deal with the patient, how to, to ask the proper questions, to get the proper feedback, and to assess the patient's uh, you know, pain level. Are they a 10, a 9, a 7? And uh, so it's for somebody that likes that 
personal hands-on care, this type of therapy is, is really outstanding. And uh, the technicians that do it, the, the, the people that do this, the, the doctors and the therapist, um, they really get a joy out of seeing the patients you know, get better. Yeah, it actually sounds really exciting. I know that we have had really positive response from the uh, uh, infrahelios, uh, small personal units that we have put out in the field. So I'm really excited to be able to uh, get our audience to find out about this professional level equipment. Yeah, and I think because we've had such interest in people wanting to be therapists, um, we've experimented with doing uh, Zoom trainings for all the theoretical and then do uh, you know hands-on group trainings. And uh, those have been very effective. That's what we ended up doing in, in Ecuador. We did uh, Zoom trainings ahead of time. Then when some of us met in Ecuador, we did the, actually the hands-on uh, with the different patients because we saw such a wide variety of pain conditions, ankles, hands, you know, feet, knees, backs, shoulders, complete variety of patient size, uh, women, men, elderly, young, it was a great variety. <laughs> well, it won't, yeah, I mean, there's no limit. You can treat a horse with it. Uh, that's how I started. Actually, was treating was treating animals, uh, was treating the the horses yeah. uh, and small animals. So if you're a, a small animal technician, you can actually treat the small animals with it. So we we kind of have always uh, added. We say a laser for every home office and barn. <laughs> so you can, you can can have it in your barn too. <laughs> right. Well, I can imagine that the aging dog that usually suffers with uh, lameness of some sort or inability to move again, this, this would be just uh, highly beneficial. Yeah, my experience with my own my own dogs that have uh, I've watched age and then uh, you know have lameness, especially in the hips, the dogs really like the treatment. They relax. Even the dogs that are a little aggressive, they they relax when they feel this warmth. And uh, they have a, a quite immediate reaction where they're, they're hardly moving and you give them the, the laser and they'll, they'll jump up on their feet and, and walk around. And uh, so they're very, they make really good, good patients. <laughs> <laughs> a willing subject, yeah. Uh, a willing subject, yes. Yeah. So they enjoy the treatment. And in fact, most people do. Uh, some people get very relaxed. Sometimes they fall asleep during the treatment and you have to kind of wake them up. Mm -hmm. um, most people say they, they sleep better at night because suddenly that pain and discomfort's gone and they're finally relaxed and they get a good night's rest. Awesome. Well, I, I don't know what else to ask. I mean, we understand how wonderfully it works. Um, we think that we can train almost anyone to uh, operated safely. Yes. Um, yes. There's not a lot of uh, uh, risk. Of, I mean, people wear goggles. You uh, pay attention to the laser safety, which is a, an integral part of the training. Uh, but in terms of the therapeutic, uh, it's easy to pick up on, especially for somebody that is doing other kinds of, of healing work. They have no, no problem adapting. Yeah. And so I've trained a lot of people and certified a lot of people over the years. And uh, they all you know, are successful at, at adapting it. Okay. So the, for the people who decide to purchase, um, they probably would want to know about warranties. Is there one? Yes, there's a two-year warranty on the, the box and there is a one-year warranty on the fiber. Uh, unless, of course, the, the thing that to remember is that the uh, delivery system is an optical fiber. It's a laser. So okay. there's a yellow cable that comes off the front panel and goes to a nice handpiece right. that gives you the right tr treatment size, but right. that's an optical fiber. So if people step on it and break it, then and that's broken. what happens. And then it's broken. <laughs> so right. uh, we don't warranty against that, but if there's a degradation, you know, due to manufacturing effects in the fiber, of course, we replace that within a year and uh, the machine is, is two years okay. and it's solid state. It's a solid state uh, laser diode. So there's not a lot of, uh, calibration or there's not a lot of parts that can fail inside. Right. This, does, this will have a very long life other than the mechanical problem with the fiber. Right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. I so, I, I, yeah, I, I encourage everybody as if your listeners are listening and, and uh, interested to contact you or to contact me and, and to, by yeah. all means, uh, 
I'm happy to, to talk. If you yeah. find there's four or five people that want to have an individual session and, and ask questions and answers, uh, I'm, of course, uh, always available yeah. to try to do that for you. Yeah, me. I'll encourage everyone to uh, contact Jim Onik at Epoch Lasers directly. Just tell them that you watch this Life Enthusiast talk about it. And uh, that's all we ask. Yep. You can reach me at uh, my email is jim.onik, O H N. E-C-K at epic, E-P-O-C-H, lasers, L-A-S-E-R-S dot -E com. You can go to our website and send a contact through there. They all come to me. And that's www.epochlasers dot -E com. So epiclasers dot com. And there, there's resources and you can maybe read some stories and, and learn more about the, the product as well. Great. Jim, thank you very much. I certainly hope that we can reverse this cycle of pain on the planet and help people get well again. I mean, I can't think of a better tool for de-aging or a person or restoring normal function. This is, this is the sort of thing that we at Life Enthusiasts like to uh, emphasize, that there is a way to uh, bring normal or healthy or optimal function back into the tissue. And this is one of those methods. Great. And we, we, of course, appreciate all that you're doing to get people interested in, in these alternative types of treatments, whether it be our laser or some of the other wonderful products that you sell. Right. It's right. nice to see that somebody's focused on doing that. Right. Indeed. If, if you think that the uh, professional unit is a little too much for you to consider, well, please look. There's a link nearby for the infrahelios unit that you could possibly use for your personal use if you like. Yeah. So Excellent. thank you very much, Jim. This is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast. We are restoring vitality to you and to the planet. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>